Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited about today's video. I will be doing a demo on my skin and little mini first impression on the Anastasia Beverly Hills and collab with Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I was so excited when I saw this that it came out. I did pick mine up from the Sephora website. Um a few days ago maybe even a week ago when they had the 48 hours only you got first access if you had the sephora app so i did pick this up then and i just i'm so ready for this when i did see the swatches and the other videos i saw on this and the pictures and how payments they were i was just it made me even more excited to get it in the mail so this is what the packaging looks like as we all know, I hope you guys can see, this is vegan and cruelty free, so that makes it even better. And this did retail for $40. Now, in this one, you do get uh, six pans. Now, the regular glow kits also offer $40, but uh, also retail for $40, but you are getting more product. So that's the only thing. It's like these are six pans for the same price, but on the regular glow kit, you do get more product. So first we're gonna go in with swatches and then I'm gonna go ahead and demo it on my skin. I do have three brushes to use. I have my Morphe M601 fan brush, which you guys know I love. My Morphe M501 highlighting brush, which you guys know I really love. And I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 um, highlighting brush. So we're gonna try to use as many of these on the skin. If you guys saw my original glow kit video when the first glow kits came out, you know I will find a way to fit all these highlighters on my skin. So we're gonna, and these, I'm sorry, these are the colors. So you have Kitty Cat, Forever Young, Daydream, Forever Lit, Glow Getter, and 143. And <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and give some swatches we have kitty cat forever young and daydream and these are those shades daydream is the one that i'm really excited about because it's the one that's more like the orange color and then we're gonna switch hands and we're gonna swatch forever lit glow getter and 143 so we have forever lit Glow Getter and 143. Glow Getter and 143 are the ones that I know that'll fit um, my skin tone the best. So, I don't want this video to be too long and ramble too much. I know you guys really want to see how these look on my skin. So, we're going to jump right into that right now. So, I did zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm just going to pull my hair back. So, the first shade we're going to use on the cheek, I'm going to go in with Daydream. Which is that really nice orange shade. We're going to take the Morphe Fan Brush. Woo! And I'm going to get my mirror. This is gorgeous. And that is Daydream. Just gonna pile it on. That is Daydream on the skin. That is beautiful. Like, ugh. Daydream is a highlighter I can see myself rocking every day because even though in the pan it looks more of like an orange type of highlighter. On my deep skin tone, it looks so pretty. So that's Daydream. Now on this side, I want to use 143. And I'm going to go in with the same fan brush. Just going to dust it off. And I'm going to go in with 143. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That is so freaking pretty. That is one, four, three. So now I'm gonna take my Anastasia A23 brush and let's dip into, let's do Kitty Cat on the cheeks just to see how it will look. 
that's kitty cat as you can see my cheeks are pretty much powder off whoa that's kitty cat for me i would not wear it on my cheeks on my skin tone if i do i would go in with a light hand with it because it's pretty silver even though in the pan kitty cat looks more pink on my skin tone it comes off a lot more silver so on this side th this side this side we're gonna try the shade glow getter That is gorgeous. So Glow Getter is a lot more gold. I can see myself really rocking this one. And then with my Morphe M501 Fan Brush, I'm just going to take the last two shades we didn't use, which are Forever Young and Forever Lit. I'm going to dip into Forever Young. And we're going to pop in the bridge of the nose. Ooh. Forehead. And then on the Cupid's bow and on the chin, we're going to take Forever Lit. I personally would not put Forever Lit on my cheeks. It's way, like, I could not wear that on my cheeks. So we're just going to try it on the Cupid's bow. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, let's also put Forever Lit, which again is this really light one. Let's do it on the inner, 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 inner corner. Like, all this glow is so unnecessary, but we just extra today. So, this side is Glow Getter, and this side is Kitty Cat. Along the nose and forehead, we have Forever Young. And on the Cupid's Bow and Chain, we have Forever Lit. Look at my Cupid's Bow. Like that is just obnoxious. So, that is my quick little first impressions. I wanted to make this video super quick, but as you can see, my skin is so glowy like i absolutely love this and i love how they made a highlighter palette that is great for every skin tone so in my opinion if you are like similar in the similar range as my skin tone even if you're darker i highly recommend daydream 143 and glow getter as far as kitty cat um i would say this would be if you're gonna use it on your cheeks really go in really really light if you are deeper skin tones forever want forever young will be nice on the skin as well but it's, it's like kitty cat you have to go in really really light and really blend it out and forever lit which is this one i would really recommend that that be used like in the inner corners even like I have on the Cupid's bow, but Forever Lit is white, but it has a, like a blue shift to it. I do definitely see the blue shift. Use it like in the inner corner, Cupid's bow, lightly in the Cupid's bow, and things like that. But I absolutely love this glow kit. I highly recommend it, and I will definitely will continue to use it. I will leave the link to it down in the description box. It does release today, March 3rd, on the Sephora website, so I will link it down below for you guys. I love you all, and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.